Hi, welcome to episode 4 of Wintech. Today's episode, we're looking at an iMix. Now, an iMix, it's like an album that you can make and you put it on the iTunes store. Um, the only catch is all the music has to be bought from, has to be able to be bought from the iTunes store. So, at first, you start by creating your playlist. So, what we'll you call it iMix for now? Doesn't matter what you call it there, because that's not going to be the final name of your iMix. Next, you go up to your library. And you select the songs that you want to be added into your iMix. So, we'll just hold down control and we'll select the songs that we like. And we'll chuck these into our iMix folder. Now, the great thing about this is you don't have to own the song to put in your iMix. You can just get any song off the iTunes store as well. So, we'll jump up here and just search down. Say we found this song from Silverchair that we like. Now we can just drag this song into our iMix folder. And you see we jump back there. There it is, just like it appears in the iTunes store. So once you've finalized all the songs you want to appear in your iMix, you come down in the place, you've got this little arrow here. You click it, and you go create iMix in the middle. You just go create. And this is where you put in the final name for your iMix. So we might want to call it Wintex Mix. And for the description, just whatever you want to describe it of. Once you've created all that, we just go publish. There you go, thanks for submitting your iMix. So within a few hours you should get an email to the address of your um of your account. And it'll just say whether your um whether your iMix has been published on the iTunes store. Um this is episode four of Windex. See ya.